is going on, Mullen fam? Appreciate you all being patient with me as I get a video together. I had a lot going on, but we are here to talk about this brutal end to the trading week. Anything I say in this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. Two right. things to sum up this week, and that is one, dilution. And the second is fear. Mullen discloses a resale of up to 2.49 billion shares. The eligible that are up for resale includes Bollinger Motors, Isusa, and Aquitas. The amounts that they are eligible up for resale, 901 million, 883 million, and 51 million. It's been a lot of moving parts and a lot of information to digest. And that overall has just been creating a lot of fear for the shorts to take advantage of. They were able to use this and do whatever behind the scenes to contribute to the down pressure on Muller Automotive stock, breaking through key levels, getting as low as 25 cents per share. In this article, it says Mullen noted that the additional shares of our authorized stock available for issuance may be issued at times and under circumstances so as to have a dilutive effect on earnings per share and on the equity ownership of the holders of our common stock. Now, Mullen did mention in its earnings report recently put out that the company has over $100 million in cash that includes restricted cash available for company use, available for operations and investment at December 31st, 2022. The company has additional committed capital of $90 million expected to be received prior to the end of April 2023. Now, with that being said, Mullen has cash and cash coming. So why do an offering now at these levels of price to allow these selling stockholders to bring the price down even lower? And both Asusa and Aquitas stake mainly consist of convertible securities. Mullen noted in a filing that the two entities own zero shares of Mullen stock prior to the offer. And this is the 13G filing for Asusa all zeros but down here at the bottom it says that does not include over here 151 million shares of common stock issuable upon the exercise of outstanding warrants shares of common stock issuable upon conversion of a note with principal amount of 33 million dollars as of december 31st 2022 which converts into common stock at a price of 30 cents per share and the 13g for aquitus group same thing zeroed out then at the bottom it says it does not include 148 million shares of common stock issuable upon the exercise of outstanding warrants, shares of common stock issuable upon conversion of a note with principal amount of $32 million as of December 31st, 2022, which converts into common stock at a price of 30 cents per share. So there was a lot of moving parts, a lot of things to take in, but ultimately there was a lot of selling going on. Hopefully that was the blunt of dilution for a while. I hope David Mishery has a bigger uh, agenda as far as why he's allowing the selling stockholders to be able to sell out of the shares that they have that were converted into common stock at this particular time around that 30 cent mark. As far as the chart, we know Mullen took a big hit. It broke down from this upward trend. It's happened before in the past here. We pushed back up, but however, it has not been to this magnitude. We had a lot of fear, a lot of selling going on. And shorts just had a field day for the last few days in the trading week. But as far as the long-term aspect, we see on the weekly chart that the MACD is still in the green. The TTM squeeze has actually crossed over to the green side. We got two green candles right here on the TTM squeeze. So that is a positive as well. We still got high volume on Muller Automotive stock coming off of this bottom of 18 cents. And it started 
as far as back as October of 2022, where we started getting a pickup in volume in Muller Automotive stock. If you also look at the Bollinger Bands, still compressing in the zone, I believe shorts are really playing with this area between the Bollinger Bands because it wants to open up and Mullen wants to break out. So if you zoom out, you could get a better look at it. The last time the Bollinger Bands opened up for a big move was back here. And this is clear as day that Muller Automotive stock is very heavily compressed and manipulated with this high volume bottom happening right now. So do I think Muller Automotive will revisit all time lows? That is a no for me. There's obviously a lot of negativity going on with Muller Automotive stock as it is still reversing from 18 cents bottom. But however, I still think that there is reason behind everything that is going on. And Wall Street knows it, the shorts know it. I believe that they know what is coming for Mullen Automotive stock months and months ahead of when it's actually happening. So think about why do shorts short a stock that is on a high volume bottom reversal? They'll try to make you sell your positions then buy up the stock right before something big happens. So I do think Mullen will recover from this going into next week, allow everybody to fully digest this 2.49 billion share resale. And I hope y'all find this information valuable. Stay charged up, don't feed the fear, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm gone. Go, go, Best in abundance. Cool race from the dungeon. Still come through when the clutch. I'm that diamond that does it. Filling up clean to the function. Niggas mislead with assumptions. Gotta stay clean from the grudge.